What's up guys, Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket and why I'm not happy with it. So stick around and we'll go into exactly why I don't like this jacket. All right, guys, like I said, today I'm gonna to be talking about the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket and why I don't like it and why I haven't had a good experience with it. Um, but first, before I get into that, I just wanna thank everybody for their subscriptions. We just hit 50 subscribers. Now, I know that's not a lot, but for a small channel like me, that's a huge milestone in my YouTube uh, path career whatever you want to call it so thank you to each and every one of you for joining me trying to get as much uh, video content out there and trying to get people to enjoy the videos because I enjoy making them and I want people to enjoy watching them so thank you so much to all my subscribers and if you haven't subscribed hit that like button hit the subscribe button and there's gonna be more videos just like this and plenty of my other trip videos coming in the future so like I said, I wanted to talk about the Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket and why I don't like it. Now first, let me preface this by saying I am a huge fan of Outdoor Research products. Now that being said, I don't think that the Outdoor Research Helium 2 is all that it's cracked up to be. When I was looking for a rain jacket, I was looking for the lightest and the most durable product I could find that could get me into the backpacking scene and that could get me something that I would enjoy because I'd had kind of crappy rain jackets and I was sick of getting wet and having it wet out. Um, and so I went with the Outdoor Research Helium 2. Now, that being said, I did a ton of research before I did it. I compared weights, I compared prices, I compared durability. I watched YouTube videos, I read forums. I did a whole bunch of research trying to figure out what was the best. And the Helium 2 kept coming up as the best. People use it on the Appalachian Trail, their whole Appalachian Trail, no problems, so they say. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it. So I purchased it in like August, maybe September of 2017. And from 2017 till now, I really only had two to three, three opportunities to really use it in the rain. And uh, even then, it wasn't that extensive. Um, it would just be a shower and then it would let up for maybe a half an hour if I was lucky. So I didn't really get to test it out. Then, sorry, you can see I have a friend today. She's wandering around, so she'll be in and out of frame. Anyways, so I wasn't able to use it that much. Then I just went on a backpacking trip with Outdoor Trial and the Backpack Blazer. Link in the description below to that video. I'll also try and post it somewhere on the screen up here. Um, so that trip, if you've watched it, go check it out. It rained the whole time. And it was really the first trip where I got to use this and where it just was not that good. I'm gonna be straight up honest. I was very unhappy with what happened as I was using this. So it would rain all day. It would rain for like 15 minutes and then be clear for like a half hour. It's kind of how the UNs are here in Utah. You get freak storms coming in and out and it's just kind of chaotic. So you need something that's gonna keep you dry. And I started to use this. Well, it started to wet out within about an hour and I could feel it in my shoulders and kind of on my back. And I was like, what is going on? Like this is basically brand new. I've washed it once. And when I washed it, it was in, with cold, like no soap, like nothing. It's to try and protect the coating that they supposedly have on this. And so I really only used it once. And I'm like, why is this soaking through? Um, and then a huge, huge storm came and it just poured on us and we were kind of out hiking and I was walking back and I could just feel it getting wetter and wetter all over my back all over my shoulders and uh 
I took it off in my tent and you can see it. So on the outside, it's like this color, it's black. And then on the inside, it's like a light gray. And the light gray was just completely like dark gray. You could tell that it had been soaked through that there was just water everywhere. And so I was kind of disappointed. So let me pull it out. And so that's the main flaw that why I'm not happy with this, um, to be perfectly honest. Um, so like I said, all of this was just kind of like black. Um, you could tell that there was water in it. And I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I was trying to figure that out. I mean, I've taken really good care of it. I mean, it stays out like this during the winters to not be, you know, like crinkled like it is. It doesn't get direct sunlight. I mean, I store, I take care of my gear and this shouldn't be happening. So anyways, that's the main flaw. And if you guys are gonna go buy one of these, I'm gonna be honest right now, I don't think it's worth it. Now, that being said, I right now am the only one that I know of that is going to post this video and that has this opinion on this product. So I don't know if it's just like a goof deal that I got like a dud or something, or maybe I did something. Like, like I said, I haven't used it that much. I've used it in like a total of four rainstorms, four. And uh, I've washed it once and that was it. So I don't know what's going on. So if you guys are looking at this, keep it in mind. Like I said, I don't know if this is like a freak deal that I got like a bad one or something, but I'm not happy with it. So I went to Outdoor Research website and I tried to contact them and say, hey, this is what happened. This is, you know, kind of the, the whole lifespan, what's happened over the lifespan of the jacket. I've taken care of it. I've tried to, you know, do the best that I can with it. And uh, that was about a week ago and I still haven't heard anything back. So I don't know if they don't care. I don't know if it's not that big of a deal to them, but I'm kind of disappointed because if I can remember correctly, this jacket is about 150, I don't know. I'll post it on the screen somewhere right now on Amazon what you can pick this jacket up for. Um, I think it was about 150 when I picked this up. So that's a lot of money to spend on this. And not to mention, another thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't have pockets. It's like you can see here, there's no pockets on the front on either side, which that's a minor detail. I like having pockets, but that's just one thing I don't like about it. And then another thing that I don't like about it is that it is a really short cut meaning from like the total overall length, it is really short. So if you're kind of like, you know, bending over in camp, doing things and chores and whatnot, it kind of pulls up and you're getting wet. And if you have like a long jacket underneath, uh, that's getting wet as well. And it's just kind of like a small fit. And for me, like I'm between a medium and a large, depending on what company I go for. So I went with the medium on this one and it could be that I could need the large which would totally fix all the problems, but this is not the first time I've heard of this. Everyone says that even in a large, it's like a shortcut. So keep that in mind when you're buying this. It's a shortcut and it is a little, it kind of runs on the small side in my personal opinion. So keep that in mind if you're picking one of these up. Um, but like I said, that's the biggest flaw. This thing has just wet right through and I don't know why. It's really annoying. I'm kind of pissed because I did spend a lot of money on this thing and it is, you know, failed me in the first real backpacking uh, trip that I've really needed it. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, with this being said, what am I going to do with this jacket? I'm going to wait to hear back from Outdoor Research. If I don't hear anything back, I don't know. I think I may try and like put some of that like spray stuff on it, get some of the rain proofing back on this thing. Um, sorry, there's a leaf. YouTube problems, right? So I'll try and spray this, see if I can get some of the waterproofing qualities back. If not, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know, I'll just leave it. And then I'm looking at the Marmot Precip, so I'm looking at that one. If you guys have any suggestions on 
like a good rain jacket, leave them in the comments. I'm kind of looking for something right now. So, but in the meantime, I'm gonna try and use it because it's the only one I have because I got rid of my other ones because they were junk. The other ones wet through and they were $50 jackets. So, I don't know. All right, so like I said, guys, uh, the Outdoor Research Helium 2, for me, it's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. Anyways, I really like, you know, Outdoor Research and some of their products. I have other things by them. They have a lot of great products, but right now this is not my favorite and I'm kind of disappointed. So keep that in mind when you're picking up or looking at the Outdoor Research Helium 2. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I know this is kind of like a downer episode and I don't want it to be. I just want to be able to provide reviews of products that are good. And I thought this was good and it turns out it's not. So I'm gonna try and get this problem fixed, try and get in contact with Outdoor Research. If I make any progress, I'll post a video on YouTube letting you guys know what happened. But as of right now, I'm looking for a new jacket. So if you like this video, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it, whatever you wanna do. We're trying to get this community bigger and I appreciate all of you subscribers. Thank you so much. It's been an awesome time and I'm looking forward to more. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.